Welcome back. We were a little heavy on the dog stories in our rescue and adoption, and now we are going to give our fair due to the kitty world in the best possible way here at Catmosphere Laguna with Gail Landau, the founder and creator of Catmosphere, the first kitty cafe, is that correct? Thank you, Lauren. We are the first cat cafe in Orange County. Okay. That's right. There are uh, cat cafes all around the world, uh, beginning in Asia in mm -hmm. the 90s. Wow. And they started to grow in the U.S. So we didn't have one in Orange County, and I live here in Laguna Beach, and I said, that's what we need, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> well, you actually had quite the career as an attorney, so then moving on to your next, and we talked to a lot of people who are on to their next next. Yes. And we love that. So this was your vision. My vision. I kept a folder for many years. I still have it. And it was called, entitled, Next Chapter. Excellent. And when I started the business plan for Catmosphere Laguna Foundation and for Catmosphere Laguna, the Cat Cafe, I browsed through there to see, you know, what had been my ideas? Where was I going? And so much of it was teaching and animals. And with our foundation, we are able to do both things. We have kid cat camp. Really? Yes. What we, does that work? we have students in here all the time. Oh, I will get to that. <laughs> we have a study me hour. Mm -hmm. So the <laughs> kids come in, they buy one hour, and they get the second hour free. To study. To study. And they come wow. during finals. They come during uh, just 10 sessions when they need a little break, bring their laptops in. We have drawing class, and we also have uh, seniors come on in for free beverages and spending time with the cats. And we learn. You might notice somewhere in here I have anatomy of a feline. And we get questions every now and then. We have anatomy books, and uh, we wanted to bring awareness to feline needs. Amazing. So how does it work? We have the cafe. We have the cat room. How do you pull it all together and make it work? That's part of my plan. That's part of my mission. Mm -hmm. Primarily, we are in charge of getting these kitties adopted. They are abandoned. They are rescued. And I am licensed by the state as a rescue and a shelter. Wow. So my primary goal is to get these kitties who come from various shelters, various sad stories, abandonment situations, situations where their paw rents have deceased and maybe the children don't want the kitties anymore. Uh, we bring them in and we've had a phenomenal success rate. So that's number one. We are on almost 100 adoptions and placements in foster since we opened. Mm -hmm. We are well over one a week since that's we opened. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Thank you. And that's work. the kitties. They do, they do the hard work in uh -huh. here, right? And the other part of it is the cafe, of course. And the vegan cafe has been certified green by the state of California and also Laguna Beach, California. That's quite an accomplishment. Yes, yes. And we've been certified by the Surfrider Foundation. So you'll find us on the Surfrider Foundation site as an ocean-friendly restaurant, too. Oh, wonderful. So the cafe is more of an idea to get people in here, get awareness about felines, get awareness about what we're doing, our mission in the community, and also to serve wonderful food and uh, have good times. We have parties all the time, birthday parties, office parties, surprise parties, and we do drag bingo as well. <laughs> you do. <laughs> and you said you have groups in here every day. We do. So we everybody do. is, I guess the, the exposure and the awareness are really taking off. They are, they are. And I'm pleased to say that I wanted to not focus on any particular age group. Mm -hmm. I wanted to cover all age groups. So we have children in here from age six on up. And then we have adults of every age and we are fully ADA compliant. Okay. So we have folks in here that maybe have a little bit of a hard time getting around. And the kitties come right to you. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I'm just waiting for her to jump on your lap. Oh, she will. Come yeah. on, sweetie pie. This there is Garnet. Hello, Garnet. So you also have a couple of kitties who are stars in their own right. We do. Currently, we have about 16, 17 Instagram accounts of our adopted kitties. <laughs> so they have their whole other audience. Okay, the cats of Instagram. And That's do you right. find that that actually draws in an audience for adoption specifically, or is it just mostly to come visit and see the stars? You know, I think prior to us being on several more websites like Pet Finder, and we are on a, a site called Hospice Pet, oh. and Hospice Pet is for those kitties that are maybe a little more difficult to get adopted out. I would say that's true. But people look on our website every day, and people come in. I have a whole notebook of individuals saying, 
will you get this kitty in? Will you get this kitty in? Well, I don't know. They're mm -hmm. all rescues, and uh, I try to match up the right family, the right individual with the right cat. And I understand you're incredibly diligent about following up, which I know people need to know about. We are. I don't know if you're aware now, but California law is that every rescue and every shelter must have every cat, dog, rabbit, whatever the animal might be, mm -hmm. microchipped. Yep. And I've been doing that. This is what goes on here. All day. I be, yeah, all day. All day, every day. This is what I did from the very beginning. And I always tell adopting parents, make sure you change your name on there. Otherwise, I'm going to get the call if something terrible happens. Mm -hmm. Our kitties are asked to be home kitties only, no outdoor kitties. Gotcha. Too many predators around here. So as a feline enthusiast. Yes, thank you. What do you find to be just the most exciting thing that happens for the cats here, besides the adoptions themselves. I, I just feel like they, they show appreciation in a different way, don't they? They sure do, and this setting allows for a home-like environment, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Uh, we do have meditation music going at all times, and we do have real opportunity to get to know these kitties. We'd sit on the floor, we can always brush them. Everybody has their individual brush. Will they come oh, for they their brushing? Oh, they will come. They will come oh, for yeah. their brushing. <laughs> and this allows them some freedom, too. There's a whole other room in the back that's all kitty-oriented, and that is their cat condo area. Okay, that's their quiet that's space. That's exactly right. And so we don't tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. It would be foolish to do so. <laughs> Lucky to try. That's exactly right. It's like herding cats. It's like a law firm of oh lawyers. My gosh. <laughs> it's no different. These kitties are free to go. So they go back and they use their litter box. They have a drink of water. They have a treat. They come back in here when they're ready. Okay. I, I love the story. I am grateful to you, as I know so much of the community is. Thank you. And we're really We're grateful and thrilled. for you. We're well, grateful for the community support and love. And we're thrilled to be able to shine a spotlight on the great work that you're doing. Thank you. How Laura. can people find you besides showing up here at Cat? Catmosphere Laguna. Okay. We are in the visitor center, so it's not hard to find us right. at 381 Forest Avenue. www.catmospherelaguna.com. Mm -hmm. We are on Facebook, and we are also on Instagram as Catmosphere Laguna. Okay. Well, we know everybody's going to go looking for oh, you now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you it's very been a pleasure. much. And we'll be right back. Oh,